Hello, and welcome to the Watermark Water Cooler. We're here with Darby, digital consultant, salesperson here at Watermark. Um, Darby, we're going to talk about privacy policy and some new things that are happening with privacy policies, um, not only here in Colorado, but um, across the country. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Well, I mean, it's a big deal right now, right? Uh, yeah. Yesterday or the day before, Facebook just got Facebook Meta just got hit with a one point three billion dollar fine for not complying with GDPR. As far as the state of Colorado, the Privacy Act has not gone into effect yet, but it will in July, on July first of twenty twenty three. So in a few months, uh, with that, if you are not compliant and you uh, you know violate the compliance, right, um, you will be hit with a twenty thousand dollar fine per violation. So it's very very important that. We update um, all businesses that have uh, websites targeting Colorado citizens to get compliant on their website right. and have a privacy policy, terms and conditions, and other uh, features of the Privacy Act um, to make sure they are following regulations or they will get punished. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's more than just Colorado, right? California has theirs. Utah has theirs. Mm -hmm. Virginia. Um, there's, there's other states, right, that have their own privacy policy. Colorado's is just coming on in July. Um, so obviously people who have businesses here in Colorado with a website, uh, and that's what I want to talk about next. What does this cover? Like, why should I have a privacy policy? What things on my site would make me collect data? Right. Okay. So, um, I guess it, it really depends on which state laws we're, we're, I guess, focusing on. So that that's, that's the big issue, right? It depends on the state. Yeah. You need to cover, you, sh you should cover probably all of the state's yeah. rules. Yeah. 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 So how California do you... being the, the most strict. Right. 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 Yeah. So how do you, how do you comply with all of them and all these questions and like, yeah. what are the things that they care about? As far as the, the main things that people should consider are first, you need a privacy policy that, uh, is up to date with all the data that's collected, uh, on your website or through its processors, uh, which are essentially things like Google Analytics or Facebook Tag Manager, anything that collects uh, data, user data on your website. So you need to have the ability to first notify your users that, hey, this is what's happening or uh, uh, the second you get onto uh, our website. And if uh, you comply to have it or you agree to have that data collected, or you want to opt out of that. Mm -hmm. Now with Colorado, co uh, there's something called implied consent. And what that means is if you are, if you, if you don't opt out uh, and you continue to the, use the site, because some people just keep scrolling until the thing goes away. Or, or they click the X button. Click, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just ignore it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you do that, well, you're, you're implying consent. Therefore, your data will be collected by those sites. So if you care about uh, your data getting protected or, or not getting tracked, make sure you reject or opt out um, of those yeah. features. Uh, further, you also need to have ver uh, very specific terms and conditions on, uh, and usually that's a page uh, that kind of goes into detail on all the terms and conditions of you using the website, what, mm. again, what data is collected, et cetera, et cetera. You have to, I'm pretty sure you have to identify which uh, third party processors are collecting your data as well and outline what that is. And then from there, with California and Colorado, and I think other states as well, that uh, you have to, in most cases, log your uh, s the settings that your users agreed to. Uh, that way, if they come back to the site or something like that, you, they don't have to re-opt out and all that stuff. So we just covered a ton of things yeah. of like, okay, so you have to have a database yep. that is collecting this information. Yep. You can't just have a, um, I accept or I decline and, you know, here's my terms of policy and that's it. Like you actually have to collect that information, which for the most part means you probably need a third party to help you manage these things. Like trying to build your own mm -hmm. tool for this would have a high expense for a dev team to create and all that other stuff. Yeah. So, so um, I would highly recommend you go, go get it. Yeah. Use a third party like us, Watermark or, you know, yeah. what, go find, go find a solution mm -hmm. that's going to cover you for all these things. Hey, sorry for interrupting your video. I'm Cameron, Vice President of Watermark, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about our, about our CRM learning tool. We just developed it. It's free for you all. The link is in the description below. We're going to cover things like utilization of a CRM, automating those mundane tasks that you have to take care of every day, you know, hitting those sales numbers. If those are things you're struggling with, jump on over there. We're going to learn together. We'll see you there. 
Another thing you just brought up that I think is really important that the users need to know about is these policies are constantly changing yeah. and different states are coming online with different rules and regulations. So like either you hire a legal team that's going to be able to handle that or again, you go to a third party. Yeah. My recommendation, again, go to a third party that yes. can handle this information because for you to, to maintain mm -hmm. uh, a legal team that's going to be able to manage this, and I'll just use Watermark as an example. We went to try and find a legal <laughs> people to find this and it was like almost impossible. Most lawyers don't understand these rules and laws. Right. Um, There's no precedent. Yeah. So, so you have to you have to really be careful in finding people that know what's going on. Right. And, and here's the crazy part: is like, let's say you're what I mean, it's a, a website is on, on the internet. It's it's global. You have uh, global access to that site. So you, if you want to be compliant for California, Colorado, Utah, and like also Europe, GDPR. Uh, because there, there's all these liabilities. Well, guess what? Colorado attorneys only know Colorado law. Mm. Cal so you would need a legal team in every single state that has a privacy policy for you to be compliant and have them each of them review it from the perspective of each state's laws. And even then, with the newer states, these lawyers have no idea what's what's happening mm. or they, or a precedent, so they they actually don't know how to. Actually, they won't like they won't sign the their name next to like this is yeah. this is compliant yeah because they just simply don't know we ran into that again like yeah said, right our, our agency and that's, that's not even yeah. including GDPR e yeah like, like yeah the European side of things which is like the whole not like yeah again you should be compliant there too if you are doing anything in Europe yep um so yeah I, there's just a ton here that needs to be thought about yeah in my opinion if you have a website you need to have at this point in time. A, a privacy policy, a yep. cookies policy, yep. terms and conditions. Like these are all things that you just can't avoid anymore unless you want to get, um, here, here's another thing just for, you know, viewers here is that there, unfortunately there are bad characters out there that they are just looking to go sue somebody. Yes. Um, and you are low hanging fruit if you don't have something. Right. So, well, so specifically with Colorado, um, that is, you're somewhat protected to the, degree from from uh bad actors simply because the only the attorney general can officially uh uh what is it fine you um or put you through i guess a lawsuit, lawsuit yeah, kind of thing yeah. um but here's the thing people can report you still to yeah. the attorney general now which could be bad actors too so yeah, it just doesn't exactly, like to exactly, exactly your competitor could report yeah, you thing, competitor, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, oh my gosh yeah we're giving ideas uh, yeah yeah well <laughs> it's like, it's like, don't do that exactly but in utah it, uh they they actually one of the biggest differentiators so far because I, I don't know if they're going to amend it amend it before they go live because this is problematic you can do civil litigation civil suits based uh off of not complying on websites so yeah. so yeah there it's going to be like insane there because there might be law firms that are just targeting a bunch of sites or getting prepared to do that um if you don't have a privacy policy they just like yeah. immediately sue you and to make money or there are again you know, people can sue each other uh yeah. so that's gonna be really interesting to yeah. see how that plays out so you're, you're absolutely right as far as the you want to minimize your risk yeah and let's just face it almost every site has some sort of analytics yes so and i mean if you have a form you're yeah. collecting data so yeah. if you have a contact us page that has collecting information you're mm -hmm. collecting data yep um so uh really in the end of this i think the big conversation there is if you don't have a policy if you don't have you don't know what's going on reach out to somebody like us yes go to a, a third party find find a solution to not get in trouble with this type of stuff uh -huh. um anything else you want to add to the viewers of, of like well yeah what, one thing i i do want to mention is just like even if your site doesn't have, like I, I really, these days pretty much every site has some sort of tracking on their yeah. on their website. But even if you think, if you, you don't, you're in the dark ages. By yeah, the way. yeah, that means like, like if you have a website with like no analytics in it. Yeah, like, what's the point? Or or a form like. <laughs> Yeah, it, I know. It, like, why do you even have a website? Yeah, I don't know maybe, what it's for. I, I, yeah, maybe you could have just had a Google business page. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but like, it, assuming you you are, are you care about competing. Uh, you're a competing business, right? Assuming that's the case, which I think our, our viewers are, um, if you if you are doing that and you, you need to anticipate how users are gonna, uh, user interaction and engagement will change in the future, right? So you ever go to a website or a link and it says like, hey, uh, before you go, like 
there's like a red flag or lock that says like this site isn't secure um because they don't have like an SSL certificate, certificate yeah i i'm pretty sure in the future that's going to be something like this site collects your data without consent kind of thing or at the very least people are going to get so used to seeing privacy policies and, and opting out of them or, or or just that interaction that if you go to a site that doesn't have that pop-up you're not going to feel safe well darby thanks for coming on oh, yeah. and uh talking about privacy policies and uh we will catch you all next time thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the watermark water cooler we value your opinion and want to deliver the best content possible. To do that, we need your comments and feedback. What do you want to see or learn? Tools? Techniques? Behind the scenes? Comment below and make your idea our next video.